what is up players welcome back to mary react it's the first of the month november is officially here it feels like we literally just said like first of october like it feels like it was just up to it feels like it was just October, like I swear, like I am freaking out at how fast this year has been moving, but I spy with my little eye <gasps> a new package from the coldest. This is considered their Black Friday month and as and everything on there's a this is the month of epic deals. I'm talking anything from 20 to 50 percent off. On the website, if you just go to codas.com backslash Black Friday, make sure you're using backslash Black Friday. The promo code is also Black Friday if you don't do the backslash. Get you some. I am super excited. I could not wait to open my bottle, so I was just like, let me go ahead and unbox it. I always get a different one every time, so I never know what to expect. Ah, I love it. I wish it were bigger, but I love it. I know you guys... Look at it. Okay, camera focus. Guys, isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Like the wood has like a golden feel to it. Gorgeous. Now you guys know I've been using my red one forever, but this one has like a little sucky sucky thing. So, Ooh. That gives me a little bit of variety, I suppose, depending on what mood I'm in. Um, it also seems like it's a little more slender in the mouth than my red one. I'm looking at my, my red one right now. I've been trying to avoid being so gassy, and, some, and one of the things I heard was that using a straw will do that. So if you have bloating concerns, I would recommend the other the, I recommend getting a product with just a regular cap. Nevertheless, I'm super stoked about this one. Like, I'm gonna use it anyway, just because. Like, let me see if they put my name on it this time. They did not, the channel name is not on here. Anyway, shout out to the Codas for sending this out. You guys go shopping, let's get into the reaction. This is stupidly expensive things that Shaq owns. So let's get into it. If you're ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up and let's press play. These are the top eight stupidly expensive things Shaq owns. And for number eight, Shaq spent more money on a fish tank than you did on your car. Yeah. See, call it How much we talking? Tank. Oh, that's not the CC. The easiest fish tank they could think of. So, that's exactly what they gave him. Shaq, come on in, pal. Take a boom. Oh! This is an Egyptian themed 800 gallon tank. Featuring three exotic I'm just fish, waiting to hear how much it is. Eel, and three custom Sphinx hookah statues. Bringing the total cost of this room to $120,000. Oh, but hey, Shaq could lose 120 k and not even notice. Sure. And number seven, the dude spent more money on a single tree house. That, that, that tank is not even giving because I'm not going to lie. As someone who loves fish and also wants her own aquarium... I value something like that, but I would have paid maybe half of that for what I actually want. I want them on the ceiling swimming up there when I wake up. Like, that's always been my idea. But other than that, like, it didn't seem like what they did was hella fancy for 120 grand immediately. No. Most people do on their actual house. Yeah, back in 2018, Shaq decided to head up the TV show Treehouse Masters to build the treehouse of his dreams. One, two, three. I mean, if you got to build a treehouse for Shaq, it's, it's literally the size of a house. A custom nine-foot mahogany door, an intricate tin ceiling. This thing has got it all. And on the inside, Ooh. it's got a poker table, dark wow. floor, full-service bar, and an original painting of Dr. Diesel himself. I've never seen anybody do he said that's an honor. <laughs> but you had to fork over four hundred thousand dollars for a damn treehouse. All right, I mean, let's be honest. Four hundred thousand dollars for a treehouse the size of an actual home. Right. Kind of makes sense. Literally, it's a house. Six. 
we'll but like, is that even an investment? Thing Shaq spends money on. Oh, he was young See, here. Back in 2014, Shaq was at a business conference in Texas when, during an interview with USA Today, Shaq dropped a bombshell. Right, every time our phone comes out, I'm at 50. 50 iPhone? Yes, I'm passing What do you do with 50 iPhone? I'm passing them out, and then I'll just pass like kids, like I'll, you know, tweet, be like, hey, this is Shaq, I left my iPhone 7 right next to my old place where I used to work out. Holy shit. If Shaq bought 50 of every iPhone since they came out, he spent $747,618. So people always laugh when I talk about this, because when I used to work at Apple, I met Shaq. So, like, I'm not even very surprised. Um, I met him. And I met a bunch of celebrities, but I didn't know they were celebrities because I'm just one of those people. I'm not really a fan girl, so I never know until, like, they leave. And my coworkers are like, why didn't you ask for an autograph? I'm like, from who? Like, who, who was I even talking to? With Shaq, you can't miss him because, number one, I know what it looks like. But, number two, from when you shake his hand, you feel like a little, like a little ant. Like, he's a giant. So, like, you know you're shaking Shaq's hands. But my point is that, like, he came up in there about a bunch of stuff that day as well. So I'm not really surprised that, like, you know, he's buying up iPhones because, like, that's how I happened to meet him. I didn't even meet him, like, at a game or something. I met him at an Apple store. So it makes sense. Yeah. But, I mean, let's be honest. Shaq probably wipes his gigantic ass <laughs> with 750K. So no, it's Shaq's the way face. LeBron left him hanging. LeBron was like, okay, I'm going to dance with you for a little bit. And then, yeah, you're on your own, sir. Billions on it. And what better way to start than number five? Shaq's 72 foot Pershing yacht. This thing is insane. It's got a. I didn't even know he had a yacht, but I'm sorry. Guys, guys, I'm working on the ad blocker, but I gotta let my fellow creators get their coin. And yes, please go vote on the 8th. I'm actually voting for the, for the first time in primaries. I'm very, I'm very, um, or general election rather. I'm very proud of myself. Proud of myself for that one. Oh my gosh! Anyone gonna see Black Panther? I missed the first one. It's got a kitchen, three bedrooms, a hidden cruise quarter. Hell, it's even got a fruit bowl. But as cool as this yacht is. Did he say it's even got a fruit bowl? No shit, Einstein. What if I told you Shaq got bullied for it? Yeah. Back in 2018, Shaq posted this picture and asked his fans to help name his new yacht. But uh, this backfired. Because one guy had Shaq with the roast of all roasts, saying, call it free throw, so you won't ever sink it. Damn, Andy, what the hell? It's really? Cool, like, and what are you going through, Andy? Day, Shaq's the one riding around in a yacht worth $1.7 million. Yeah, but as if this yacht wasn't enough, Shaq's car collection is on another level of flex, making it number four on our list. Flex, the way See, he said flex. See, back in 1992, Shaq spent his first NBA check on three different Mercedes Benzes. And with that, he started wow. a car buying addiction. Cause Shaq went out and built one of the most expensive garages in NBA history. I'm talking classics like his vintage 1963 Cadillac Eldorado, the actual car used in the movie Scarface, and his 1964 Chevy Impala that he bought from Snoop Dogg. But his addiction was just getting started. Cause when it comes to Shaq's custom cars, this man went all out. Like, Shaq literally took an Infiniti G35, which looks like this, and used a custom Vader body kit to turn it into a completely new car. Or let's look at his Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat that he added custom butterfly wing doors to. Ridiculous. But these are nothing compared to Shaq's collection of ultra luxury cars. Because Shaq not only owns a Mercedes S550, a Porsche Panamera, a Lamborghini. Now that's my car. But he also that's the only one that's impressed me so far, the Porsche Panamera. <laughs> Listen, when I get that car, all of y'all are gonna find out about it. Every single one of you, okay? Every single one of you, and I'm working on it. You know, YouTube ain't the one because y'all don't like to watch these videos, but I'm working on my Porsche Panamera, and like, you will hear two Ferraris, three Bentleys, and three Rolls Royces. Hey, Why? If you add up all 40 of Shaq's cars, 40? his entire garage is worth over $5 million. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Shaq's got a problem. That's actually not a lot compared, like, I don't, I don't know why I thought he was going to say a lot more than that. Five million doesn't sound like a lot for cars, like for expensive cars that he has anyway. Believe it or not, this isn't even Shaq's most expensive addiction. Because for number three, Shaq can't stop buying 
multi-million dollar mega mansions. Hey, those and are investments, though. It all though. started in 1992, when, as a member of the Magic, Shaq got his first fix. Buying a 36,000 square foot lakefront mansion in Orlando, Florida. And this place it, is- For me, people, people underestimate the maintenance that goes into that. Like, forget about, even if you buy it cash, like, forget about that. The taxes, the maintenance, it's a lot. And, like, unless you're going to sleep in each single room every single night, break your sleep per hour, like, you still wouldn't get through all the rooms. Like, I've always wondered why people have mega mansions. Like, why? Like, unless you have a family of 100, why? <laughs> Not judging, though. Like, it's your money. You can do whatever you want. It just... So I've always been curious. Bang. It has 12 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a 17-car garage, and an NBA-sized basketball court with the rebound logo right in the middle. Yeah, that's right. Even Shaq's out here subscribed to the channel. So if you're not, then what the hell are you doing? But anyways, this entire mansion oh, that was a joke. I'm guessing. $16.5 million. And with that, Shaq was hooked. Because over the next 17 years, he went on to buy six more mega mansions. One in Vegas, two in LA. I didn't even Phoenix, know he had one here. $18.8 million property in Miami. But his last one is special. Because Shaq went out and dropped a million dollars on his Atlanta mansion. Wait, what? A million dollars? Why the hell is this dude living here? He's got an $18 million mansion. I was about to say, yeah, that's not a lot. But what I do know is that his entire mansion collection is worth over $48 million. Impressive. Oh, oh, shit. I almost died from feeling poor. But hey, there's a reason Shaq bought all these mansions. He needs some space to fit what he's buying in number two. Dead people. No, yeah. it's the dead people See, for me. They play the too year. much. They play no. way too much. <laughs> Leave Shaq alone. He said dead people. Y'all go vote, because apparently they really want you to vote. Because these ads, I can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not really big into politics, so I can't tell you how to vote. But at least make your vote count. You know? Here's Shaq bought all kinds of... Look, like a whole vessels, store. Like Five Guys, mm -hmm. Papa John's... I was surprised uh, about that. Green. But in 2018, Shaq was looking for... A killer investment. Something that would bury the competition. So he hit up Authentic Brands Group, a $10 billion brand management company, to strike the deal of a lifetime. And Shaq ended up selling the rights to his own name for over $270 million. But, but still. what he bought with that money that will keep you up at night. I don't like to seem like I'm bragging, but I'm going to ask you a question. Who owns Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe. Playboy? Who owns Elvis Presley? Me. The Diesel. Stop playing! Talk heavy. Talk He's heavy. like, forget my name. I'll buy somebody else's. I called the three companies that help people live forever. And they brought my band for a lot of money. So I took half that money and put it back in the company. Now I'm the number two guy in the company. Now I own all those other brands. So if Shaq goes away, shit, we still got Elvis. <laughs> it's the way he put his big fit on that little table for really me. Out here buying dead people for $135 million. Can somebody just kill me now? Please. <laughs> it, this has to be the most expensive thing Shaq owns. Right? No. Nope. Well, believe it or not. There's one final thing Shaq owns that's worth more than 135 million. Let me tell you, that's another thing. Like, so where I live, they like included a technology package that we have to pay for. So I end up watching like a lot of more cable than usual. And when I say this man is in everybody's commercial, he's getting all his coins. He's leaving nothing, literally. See, back in 2002, Shaq decided to use some of his NBA money to begin investing in real estate. And his first move was buying 21 housing communities in Colorado for thousands of low-income families, making Shaq the largest landlord in the United States. Really? Literally. 
Now, this one deal was worth a whopping $100 million. But Shaq's real estate career had only just begun. Because in 2019, he partnered with Beret Development to build the biggest flex you could imagine. A 22-story skyscraper with 168 luxury apartments called Shaq Tower. And the value of this Where are whole they? building comes out to $80 million. Where's the Shaq Tower now, though? As crazy as $80 million. Because I'm going to say this, depending on who's managing it, it might be really shit to live there. And that sucks to say because the owners could be like... A really like the owner could be a stand-up guy. I know this because of what I've been dealing with in my last few places that I live at, particularly where I live at now. The owner, the owners are, uh, that built the place were a mess anyway. But I'm just saying the owner could be great, but depending on who he has managing it, it may not be as luxury as it sounds. So I'm just trying to see where it's actually built, though. It wasn't long after that Shaq announced he was constructing another tower in Newark, worth even more. 33-story luxury apartment complex, complete with restaurants, a roof deck plaza, Shaquille. and private lounges, called the house that Shaq built. Now, it turns out that this building is worth $150 million. So when you combine all three of Shaq's real estate investments, his entire portfolio is worth an incredible $330 million easily making it the number one most stupidly expensive thing that Shaq owns. But, you know what's not expensive at all? Washington Times Charles Barkley disrespect. Uh, that's cool. I, li I love the way they transition that. Yeah, that's a cool channel you guys recommended. And like, wow. Hey, the only thing I'm going to say is that as much as he likes to spoil himself and he has toys, he also has investments. And life is all about balance. Like, if you can afford it, why not? And like... I was shocked when I found out he owned Auntie Anne's, which he recently sold, um, Five Guys. There was a couple other, like, chain places that I was like, damn, homeboy's racking it up. So, yeah, shout out to Shaq, man. He's doing the darn thing. Anyway, thank you guys for requesting this one. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below other videos that you'd like for me to react to. If you're not a part of our family, definitely subscribe to the dopest alive. I love you very much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.